country, backwoods and hungry. I spend every Sunday just living good. Might do a little fishing, a little hunting on the weekend. With a bow, I'll be sneaking back in the woods. A little bit crazy, every now and then maybe. Like to kick off my boots and get lazy. But I'm living good, yeah. Hey, I'm living good. Just a redneck Robin Hood. Hey, I'm living good. Back in the woods. do is cut over to there where that manhole cover is yeah and then dip down and over the hill in the flood wall you lead the way i follow right on to the tray let me just hang a right i didn't know it i can see the fucking cincinnati ferris wheel yeah this time of year my, you can from my camp The number one star YouTube right there. <laughs> Yoshi. <laughs> oh. Come here. Mush. Mush. Good boy. It's your barbecue, I'm just in it. <laughs> Looks like somebody been traveling here all the time. Yeah, a lot of people come across here. So where you going, Bubba? Over here. No. Uh, no, I heard about them. All the tents sitting over there. Sleeping there. Bob's not there anymore. He moved a long time ago. George got him a tent. That's good. George's a cool guy. Yeah, for a while he's moved on. George had a tent right here. Then George tried to pawn off a tent, the tent on me. And I said, man, I don't need it. I've got one. Football. Is that what I think it is? It's a football, Nerf ball. No, that ain't a sex toy. It looks like it, but it ain't. <laughs> I mean, you'd be surprised some of the stuff you find. Yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd find out here. I found a package on the trail here of toy cleaners. I gave that to you. And body lotion. And that's what I gave you, remember? No, so, I found it on the trail. You found another one? Still got trash down it here. It turned out that the toy cleaner is for a sex toy. Oh, it is? And the body lotion the boob. <laughs> is like KY Jones. <laughs> he, you gotta improvise when you're living out here. <laughs> and I'm the first person I thought of was Crystal. I thought it had Crystal. It was a Crystal one. What you doing, Bubba? I seen her last time I went camping. 
Well, look at this down here. Who a kid in my camp and talk to me? Yeah, city's helping us out, cutting it down. I just hate by uh, cutting it down. I'm gonna get rid of everybody. Make my life more easier. I have to use the axe saw. <laughs> Shit, at heart, I'm a little lazy, but when it comes to my survival, I'm not lazy. The city workers have been here. Yep, tire truck. See, they got the perfect good logs right there. You too, right there. <laughs> I remember one time I camped right over there, <laughs> right in the open, <laughs> when I first came out here. I had good memories in there. Yeah, right into that building, built a fire. <laughs> really block a lot of wind. Yeah. I guess I'll stop recording until we get to the bridge. I don't think Carl and Jerry want me to record our camp. Hmm? They know they watch my channel. <laughs> Yoshi! Well, it's about my life. I don't care about being famous on YouTube. I just want people to know who I was before I pass away. And know who the people are, cool people I hang out with. The camp with us while I was out here. I like you. I look out for them sometimes. Food. Yeah, I can't. Stand. No, don't even know how they could they yeah, drink all of it. This way, Yoshi. No, are you going this way? I thought you might go. Thought you might go down there and cut over. So the fire. You had a fire before you left. Got to have your coffee. I go nuts when I have my coffee anymore. I'm a cranky motherfucker. <laughs> We coming out of a tent with a, a grin and my ugly look in my face. Where's my coffee? You know about my, down here my tent, it makes it harder for people to get in. What? I love it. It's hard. I learned this way. If it's harder for someone, you get it, it's going to be hard for somebody else to get it. It ain't going to go down there. Waste your time. Ooh, yeah, that's a hobo shack. I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a hobo shack. <laughs> Woo, almost all you two. I know. If I fall, it's going to be on YouTube. I'm not cutting it out. I don't got the proper shoes for out here. I got tennis shoes. What? Alright, you make sure nobody was down here. Yeah, this is a 
It's nice that I live out. I'd be proud to live it out. You did a good job. That I found strewn out about a mile in each direction. I reconned the banks and found tents abandoned. Nobody was using. And there was no tent poles, so they obviously couldn't use them, and I cut the bottoms out. Hey, that's to nice. To protect against uh, uh, winter, you know, winter wind, blizzard conditions, shit like that. And this is a thicker, this is thicker than the tarp, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me nice. And of course, I got me, I cut the bottom out of Lee's tent for tarp. Oh, his old tent? Because his tent, his dog tore up. See, I got a bunch of uh, logs thrown out here. You go back there or something? I see a trail. Huh? You go back there a lot? I see a trail back there. Sometimes I go back and through there and drag logs and shit over this way. You can see I got me a little bit of coal for when I need it. Uh, God blessed us with evidently CSX had an accident up there on a trestle. And that, as you know, that whole mound up, that hillside up there is nothing but chunks of coal. Oh, yeah, I remember. Now I used to get some of them out here. Jig and search fine enough, you find big ass chunks like them rocks I got there. That's all earth treasures. Yep, another man's junk is another man's treasure. Yep. And the cooking kit is. Oh, uh, the one I gave you? Yeah, it's under the bucket. I got it hidden. I got bottles of water in that bag. Here, let me move this. You, you can have the chair. You have the chair, buddy. This is your house. No, I sit, I sit, <laughs> I sit on the bucket. I'm going to stop right here. That's good. Uncle Russ is glad that you're born. Look at this, bud. Look at Yoshi laying down here next to you. <laughs> Fire. Oh, my buddy. Next to my buddy Russ. <laughs> it's a beautiful night on the Lincoln River Greenway Trail. Yes, sir, it is. We got a beautiful fire going. We're yep. We're doing good. If Covington and the Covington City workers will just leave us alone, we can survive and find our way up out of this mess. Amen to that, brother. We'll be okay. We've got heat. Got, yep, we got our heat right there. We've got food. We've got drink. It's alright to drink once in a while. <laughs> All is right with the world right now. Yep. We even got coal if we need to make the fire higher, which we don't. <laughs> We've got us enough logs built up. We've got us a beautiful, quiet river. North American Steel has the day off. Yeah, over across there you see all the lights, the North American Steel. Newport's happy, Covington's happy. We're not bothering nobody. Nope. All is good and right with the world. Amen to that. Look at that sexy fire, everybody. This is life out here. Without this fire, you freeze to death in the cold. A country boy can survive, and no one and Russ know how to do it. Yep. As you can tell. Yep. My hat. The mess kit ain't mine, the pop is. We've got our cooking kit. Got us a nice field and stream chair. <laughs> our living room, our fireplace. And we've got our sleeping quarters. Every damn thing that the United States Marine has afforded, we have. <laughs> Which the riverbanks and good Christian folk who help the homeless out. In Covington, Kentucky, has provided. By the way, brand spanking new hair that fit me exactly. 
Red wing steel toe work boots insulated for winter, huh? Which just given to me today. Uh, Team Jesus and Independence, God be praised. Thank you so much for your service in the Lord. You see, we're doing good. We're happy. We're content. Uh, I couldn't ask for more. And we do, they, we do live up out here. We got a solar power of a ladder. Yep. Right there. Right there. Yeah, actually, even um, the fire will also power it. Three setting, low, medium, high. We've got light. We've got other electronics at our disposal. We're not that broke out here. I believe I said we because I used to be part of the pack. I still consider part of my a pack. No, it is definitely a permanent member of this society whether whether he has a, an apartment a home whatnot Noah has spent his days out here hacking it out in the wilderness such as I Noah and I have befriended each other we've come to know each other we know we can trust each other we're good to each other his beautiful buddy here. Yoshi. He's become my nephew, <laughs> Yoshi. A cat mascot. You can see <laughs> he's nice and comfortable. He can feel the heat from the fire. We've got us um, some five gallon buckets for seat. And a log. <laughs> we got us a filming screen chair. We've got us a yeah. complete set of living room apparel, tables, chairs, everything. We've got some neighbors about 150 yards. <laughs> that way. <laughs> but as it stands right now, ladies and gentlemen, in the United States, we are the furthest south camped on the Licking River. That's far away from the bull crap. As you can tell by the nice shelf provided to us by the 1996 flood, I believe it was. As you can see there is our five gallon bucket, which is also known as the ship box. <laughs> yes. We have our own bathroom. We're clean out here when we're living out here. We're not dirty. We've got a bucket. We take care of it. <laughs> We've also got stores, thanks to people like Team Jesus and whatnot. Cornerstone. Might I add, we've got um, sanitation wipes that we use to help keep us clean. And we wouldn't have these things, all these things, if it were not for the Lord Jesus Christ, ultimate. Amen to that, brother. But if it wasn't for these brothers and sisters in the Lord, from Pastor Tommy Bates' church in Independence, Kentucky, who is in affiliation with a major prophet of God, mind you, Perry Stone, doing the will of the Lord, we wouldn't have these things. We wouldn't have all the things that we needed to take care of ourselves. So it's very important that we have these people in our lives. And the Lord has been looking out for me Thank God, Brother Noah here has been gifted with his own apartment. Thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ, guiding him in his path. As it is written, the, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. And uh, I've had uh, Mikey Skaggs. And Morgan Skaggs, my, uh, who happened to be direct descendants in my family tree, um, 
Bam. That's it. There you have it. All right. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you. I'm warm. I'm happy. I have very good company in Noah. And I couldn't have a better best friend than Noah, mind you. I mean, look at his name. God gave him the name Noah. I'm happy. I'm content. And I don't give a damn what any crooked politician has to say about it. We're good to go. We're living good. We're living clean. We're living honest. We're hacking it out in the wilderness, if you will. And I have a smile on my face. And I'm proud that my Lord and Savior, if you will. And I have a smile on my face. And I'm proud that my Lord and Savior is Jesus Christ. You ready? Look at Yoshi. Oh shit. Almost throw you two. Hold on, Yoshi. Hold on, baby. Right there. Right here. Bought a bow saw. I mean, look at all that. Hell yeah. We're flooded. Yeah, I seen the line where the leaves are. Where you want to go? How high it came up. Just, oh right shit. Here. Go down to the muddy area. I don't got boots on. Oh shit. <laughs> it's sinking in. <laughs> Just wait, Yoshi. You lost the shoe? <laughs> that mean I lost their kicks on you too? We found them. Come on, Yoshi. Keep going. Where you want to go? <laughs> Hold on, you just wait, just wait. Yoshi, just wait. Go, go. Don't drag me, though. I see him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not good to walk in the woods in the dark if you not know what you're doing. Oh. Yeah, you use Hold on, Yoshi. Daddy gotta keep up.